I'm here at the Minnesota State Capitol for the Day at the Capitol event for Hamlin University, where students had the opportunity to interact with their state legislators to tell them the importance that the state grant program has on their education. I think it's really important that if you want to go to school, the state should make it um, easy for someone to do so. The program provides students with financial aid in order to afford higher education. At Hamlin, the average student receives about $3,000 through this aid. Governor Dayton has proposed increasing the grant budget to allow more students to benefit. The biggest thing I think is um, how big of an impact um, we can have by coming and actually talking to um, legislators face to face. Regardless of the positive outlook, students rallied to the Capitol to show their support for the program by meeting with legislators. When it comes from us, they hear about our story and how the grant program helps us and what, what it ultimately does you know, to help us achieve our goals. Um, graduating college and then going on to further education if, if one chooses. Hi everyone, it's Khan from the Piper Report. The Hamlin Green Team is a team of students who committed to learning about the Hamlin Dining Services Program with regard to sustainability. They have been doing a lot of projects to bring the green environment to Hamlin Dining Services, such as telling people do not waste food and teaching them how to recycle and how to categorize rubbish. Let's meet up with the two members of the green team for further information. It's very necessary to have for any institution, um, just so that people can find convenience in recycling and being, I guess, more sustainable. There's always more to learn from it too. Like, at times you think that you have all the details of what to do, how to recycle. There's always stuff that needs to be developed and improved. Next year we're planning on having Recycle Mania on campus. So this is a, a nationwide competition against colleges. Did you know that 21% of our trash in Minnesota is recyclable paper? What you can do to help is use the hand dryer instead of paper towels. Go, Go Green Team! Our second hidden gem features the Career Development Center, tucked away in the halls of Drew Science Hall. I spoke with Lauren Kavan for more information. Our job here on campus is to help students think about um, who they are, who they want to be, and where they want to go after Hamlin. So I like to think of us as the office that helps students, from the minute they step foot on campus, start thinking about what's next. One of the main reasons that students come to see us is to, to meet with a career counselor. Um, and students do that if they are interested in figuring out what might be a good major for their interest area, um, or if they're interested in um, career-specific advice for any um, of their particular interests. We host a major decisions fair every fall, which is a great way for students to explore potential majors here at Hamlin, to meet faculty and upper-class students who are in those majors, and also alumni as well, to see what, what other students or alums who've graduated with those majors are doing out in the workforce. We host a practice interview program each fall and spring semester. For students who are graduating, I would say um, start now. Don't wait until after graduation. Come and meet with us to talk about what you're thinking. If you're not sure what you want to do, that's absolutely okay. We can help you start exploring some potential options. Um, if you know exactly what you want to do, now is not the time to delay. Don't, don't worry about um, you know, trying to just get all of your credits taken care of. Now is a great time to, to really begin your search because it takes time, especially in this job market. Students who use our office early and often um, tend to be less scared when it comes towards that senior year and you're getting closer to graduation. Our website is a great place to start, hamlin.edu forward slash cdc. Are you considering Hamlin for your college experience? Perhaps a tour through the dorms would help you decide. Taylor and I are here to help you do just that. Today we'll be visiting the Heights, which are primarily freshman dorms, located in the southeast corner of campus. The dorms were opened in 1969 and 1970 and are named after trustees. Schilling, Osborne, and Peterson are their names. We'll be showing you both public and private living spaces today. Alright, this is a single room for one student. Double room and usually houses two students. Alright, this is a 
quad room. It usually houses about four students. Go eat you. 